This school has raised standards and cut exclusions by two-thirds, and they believe it's all down to their pioneering work on emotional literacy. The Rain Englefield is an emotional literacy support assistant, known as an ELSA, one of the first in the country. We're going to be listening and we're going to be focusing, aren't we, on the class teacher? Of course. Yes. Of course, that's going to be fantastic. Well, that's if you go right, to class then and have a really good morning and I'll see you later on. Okay. All right? Bye -bye. At the start of her day at Hightown Primary School in Southampton, Lorraine takes time to greet some of the pupils she works with. Just checking that they're okay, they've had their breakfast, they've had something to eat, they're feeling quite stable and ready to learn. But what do we need to be thinking we about have today? At the same time. Focusing and listening. What do we need to be listening for today? Have a think. What have we been working on? What have we been practicing? Fairy stories. Fairy stories. We have been practicing fairy stories. Yes, we have. What are they now? Focusing and listening. And we're going to be following the instructions, aren't we, first time? Good morning. Come on outside just for a second. Just going to say a big well done to you. Come and sit down yourself down over here for a minute. For the way you handled that yesterday, that was really, really good. You actually walked away, didn't you? Yeah? That was brilliant. How did you feel after that? Okay. That you actually walked away? Okay. Did you feel proud of yourself? You should have done, because that was a really, really big thing for you to do, wasn't it? Okay, so have a good morning, and I'll be picking you up a little bit later on. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right, give me a smile then. Good boy, well done you. Off you go back into class. Fantastic. He did really well, bless him. Really well. He has a problem with his anger. And there are certain times when, if someone winds him up, in, instead of walking away or counting to ten, he'll just turn around and he'll, he'll lash out. But somebody wound him up yesterday and he actually walked away from it, which was really, really good. It's a big thing for him to do. So really proud of him. Well done him. High Town Primary School is in there quite high deprivation. There's a lot of uh, unemployment, uh, social problems, social issues. Um, our school caters particularly for the blocks of flats that are round about, so we've got quite a high proportion of single mums. Um, and a lot of the children do have emotional problems. Some, about 40% have learning difficulties of some sort or another. And we've got high, quite a high percentage of uh, children who are eligible for free school meals. Six years ago, the school was put into special measures. Head teacher Sue Bailey has helped turn it around. She believes addressing emotional literacy is essential. Emotional literacy is often described as being able to understand and handle your emotions appropriately. And I suppose that's what we're trying to help the children to do, so that if you are angry about something, it's finding out what you're really angry about and trying to help you solve those problems rather than you taking it out on someone else. Um, if, if things are going badly at home, how can we help you to try and cope with those problems so that it doesn't interfere with you learning. Lorraine is one of two full-time Elsas. She and her colleague Tracy Little were LSAs at the school before retraining. Target those ones first. The school was very challenging. Um, playtimes were scary and you felt vulnerable at playtimes. Uh, we had panic buttons and all sorts of things. The behaviour displayed was Frightening, challenging, demanding, emotionally, um, physically. Very inappropriate. <laughs> Very inappropriate. Looking at this little lad then, I'm really, really concerned about him. He's come out. Lorraine and Tracy aren't troubleshooters. Their work is proactive. Very well below on his empathy, well below on his self-regulation and the other three... From a pupil assessment, they can decide who needs help with anger management, empathy, friendship or communication skills. We could do two, actually. We could do a self-regulation and we could do a little bit on his social skills. OK, although his self-awareness is a cause of concern as well. They actively teach social skills and, and other attributes that one needs in order to get by in life. And just as 
you teach reading or writing, you need to teach children how to understand their emotions. Um, some may do that more readily because they, they have quite a, a nice home background, they've not had some horrible experiences. Other children, unfortunately, if they've been neglected um, or they've had some dreadful experiences, may have learnt certain ways of coping that are not actually going to help them in adult life. If a child does not seem to be able to recognise his own feelings or her own feelings and is acting out in a way that is going to do them damage both academically and as a person, then we need to teach those skills, teach alternative strategies. The Elsas have their own room where pupils come for sessions or just to chill out. Today, Lorraine is taking an empathy group for Key Stage 1 pupils. We're going to be playing a game today. It's a really good game. And we're going to be talking about all the feelings that all these little cards have got written on them. OK? Morgan, would you like to spin the spinner, please? Lonely Lobster. Right, now, to be able to get your card that says Lonely Lobster, can you tell me of a situation that you'd probably be in when you'd be feeling very, very lonely? Can you tell me something that you might, where you might be feeling very lonely? When nobody will play with you. That's a good one, isn't it? When nobody will play with you. You'd be feeling Empathy with, with the children is they're not aware of other people's feelings or other children's feelings. They're just thinking about me, me, me. I want this, I want that. And things that they may say can upset certain people, but they're not thinking about what they're saying. They don't feel that it upsets other people because it doesn't upset them. What is that? Can any of you other guys think of a time when you'd be feeling lonely? Can you think of a situation? God's power. Sometimes when people shout at me and they don't play with me. And they don't play with you either. Yeah, we would be feeling lonely, wouldn't we? And we God's power, for instance, bless his heart, um, will, rather than walk through a group, will plough through a group wants to get from A to B, doesn't think about who is hurting in the process, plays quite, quite roughly, so teaching him to play appropriately, teaching him that it, it, it's not a kind thing to do to, to upset children. Should be sad. Happy. Angry. I can do it scared. It's only when it's dark. That's when I can do the scared. I think it's really important that you, a school doesn't imagine you can take a couple of Elsas and it will solve all of your problems. It has to be part of a whole school approach and that will include a very tight behaviour policy that's understood by everyone and reviewed constantly and agreed by everyone and adhered to and monitored. You have to have staff, people around you, who agree that emotional literacy is important. You have to all have the same vision for the school. The Elsas are managed by the head teacher and Senko, with whom they have regular meetings. And he may be thinking now, having time to reflect on that, because obviously he still misses them. And they also liaise with outside agencies. So he's got an awful lot in his head to cope with. The shouting out in assemblies and things, he really mm. seems gen... He's like um, an 18-month-old yeah, who yes, would just, just say... Yeah, just you know, he loves understand. singing on a Friday afternoon. He mm. loves it, but he can't behave appropriately. Mm. And, and, and OK, he has Charlotte with him saying, shh, come on, listen. Mm. And, and he, he joins in with gusto. And, <laughs> and every, all the other children say, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Whilst it's, like, it's possible for a teacher to spend some time doing some anger management work, or an LSA doing some support work, to have two people who specifically spend all their time on that particular role. I think that's where the difference lies. This is care of the children all the time they're in school. There is ELSA availability. Hello. In your anger management strategy, what worked for you? Um, quite a lot of them. Count to, count them to 10, walk away and leave it, tell a teacher. Quite a lot have helped me. Right, we're going to be playing with the bubbles today. Do you remember we've played this once before, but a long time ago? Many of the problems in pupil behaviour arise in break times, so the Elsas help pupils learn to play. We're going to be blowing the bubbles, and you're not to touch anybody else. If you touch somebody else when you're popping them, of course you may. If you, if you touch anybody else when you're playing with them, you have to stand still like a soldier, and then I'll tell you when to join back in again. Are we ready? Let's get some bubbles going then.
Uh, some of the children here have difficulty interacting with each other. Um, they haven't got the skills, they haven't learnt the skills, haven't been taught the skills. So we need to teach them. So that's what we do with our play, like a play therapy really. Do you want to, oh, I touched, I've got to stand still. Who would like to blow the bubbles? I've got to stand still. Go on then. Standing away from him then, blow the bubbles then, Shane. Some of our parents do have problems in parenting. Uh, they find it very difficult, so they're not passing on the skills to the child. So the, the problems we get within the school, the children don't, just don't know how to play. So we teach them how to play, how to interact. As far as possible, the Elsas try to involve parents on strategies to help the pupils. The work that I'm doing with Sean at the moment, which will be his social story. Right. If you want to have a quick look at that one. Lovely. Lorraine has written a story specifically for Sean, modelling good classroom behaviour. Oh, yes, yeah. telling him how to put his hand up to answer yeah. questions. He knows how to do it, but he yes. will shout out normally before yeah. that. So what we're going to focus on with this story is it's, you know, he, make, he will be happy and everybody will be happy yes. when he can put his hand up rather than just calling straight out. Well, that would be really so good. Be good wouldn't it? That would be good because so he, he, he doesn't know how to no. control his outbursts. No. No. no, so that's what we're going to be working on with him. Oh, that would be And as I say, and, and more ongoing eye contact, which we don't get at the moment, so I shall still be with the dot. So I don't know if you want to take a few home. So as you can, <laughs> you I, can do I, it I as use, well. I use stars. Oh, do you? Oh, oh you're, you've got one better than I have then, because I've got the dots on the end of my nose. Yes. Different coloured dots, so I don't get him to focus on my eyes, because he finds that extremely difficult. Yes. So we focus on the end of my nose. I can't fault them. They've got the patience of a saint to work with him. I mean, because he's had a, a, a troubled life from the start. I mean, he's, he's had a few problems. I mean, his behaviour is getting a lot better. Um, his concentration is slowly getting better as well. I mean, I've noticed a vast improvement. Um, he's just a, a little bit more cooperative sometimes. <laughs> Huge improvements in the vast majority of the children's behaviour. In terms of it, they are now all not so ready to pick a fight to solve a problem. They do have, a lot of the children do have alternative strategies to use if they've got a problem. Hightown is now 14th out of 39 in the City League table and has cut fixed term exclusions by two thirds. It has changed dramatically. It's calmer now, it's more structured. Everybody's pulling in the same direction. The children are far happier. And for some of them, school could be their safe haven. I don't think you can talk about emotional literacy as a modern trend and something that's going to come and go away. I think we're just beginning to understand how important it is that people can get on with other people. And that's really what it's all about. Because you can be tremendously clever, but if you really can't get on with other people, you don't necessarily get very far in life or have a happy life.